honors are the decorations of honor for military achievements and merits in battle and military service. The history of state rewards for the military deserts in Russia. The history of the award system in Russian state counts several centuries. In the 15th and 17th centuries, as the prizes for military service were used armors, arms including name ones, or for example a horse. In the 15th century, Russia had begun to produce the reward coins which are practically medals. It was gold. Later, the so-called Moskovki for mass rewarding of participants of military battles and campaigns. Let's notice that the size of these medals corresponded to the rank of the award recipient. After returning from war, voivodes and ordinary soldiers were rewarded by golden and aureate medals. Here the great reformer Peter I also showed his worth. First, he established the conferment as the sign of a special monarchical favor. The Order of St. Andrew I called was the established the highest Russian reward. The statues of Order of Marcia Ekaterina in honor of the wife of Peter I and St. Alexander Nevsky were instituted. During the reign of Katerina II, the orders of St. George and St. Prince Vladimir were established. Before the October Revolution, there were in all six sorts of orders in the Russian state. The orders from St. Andrew I called to St. Anna were intended for military men. For civil ranks, there was the order of St. Stanislav of the third degree. For the special feats at wartime, officers only were awarded the Order of St. George of four degrees. Later it was also awarded to soldiers. In the Russian Empire, apart from the orders, there were many different medals. The medals were instituted in connection with military feats, anniversaries and other memorable events. They were awarded to the participants of battles and warriors that distinguished themselves by eagerness in service. Farther we will continue our story and see with what the Soviet state had replaced them and how Russia distinguishes the service and military feats in its warriors now. The main state awards of the USSR and Russia. After the October Revolution, with the decree of all Russian General Executive Committee and the Council of National Commissars of the 10th of November 1917, about the elimination of the states and civil ranks were abolished all existing imperial orders and insignias. In September of 1918, the first Soviet order of Red Banner was instituted and in 1920, the awarding of honorable revolutionary arms, the Saber and the Order of the Labor Red Banner and Russian Soviet Federative Socialist Republic became a common practice. In connection with the forming of USSR in 1924, the Order of the Red Banner of USSR was instituted, and then in 1928, the Order of the Labor Red Banner of USSR. In 1930, by the resolution of the Central Executive Committee, the highest award of the USSR, the Order of Lenin, as well as the Order of Red Star for Defenders of the Motherland, were introduced. In the USSR, beginning from 1934, a special rank was awarded for exceptional valor and heroism, the hero of the Soviet Union. The Order of Lenin and the Medal of the Golden Star were awarded simultaneously. In the years of the Great Patriotic War, new awards were constituted. The Order of Patriotic War, two degrees. Commander Orders, Suvorova, Kutuzova, Bogdana Khmelnytskova, Alexandra Nevskova. Captain Orders, Ushakova and Nahimova. After the fundamental turning point in the course of the Great Patriotic War, when our victory was near, in 1943 the highest military order of the USSR victory was instituted. After the end of the war it was awarded only to 17 men. Among them are the famous marshals, Dukov, Vasilevsky, Rokossovsky and other commanders. In the USSR the reward for soldiers similar to the Georgievsky Cross with the same medal ribbon was instituted, the Order of Glory. Three the Great Patriotic War had shown that when the motherland again was at death's door, every warrior of the state had displayed his best qualities as a citizen and homeland protector. There were many examples of the mass heroism. 
So, for example, Alexander Serov in June of 1941 had destroyed 18 tanks and assault guns of the enemy. The unprecedented military feat had also been accomplished by Ilya Kaplunov. Armed with an anti-tank gun and grenades, he destroyed five fascist tanks. During the battle, he was wounded, but went on fighting and destroyed another four tanks. For this feat, Ilya Kaplunov was posthumously honored with the rank of the Hero of Soviet Union. In the years of the Great Patriotic War, more than 11 thousands of Soviet warriors for courage and heroism displayed in battles were honored with the greatest rank, the rank of the Hero of Soviet Union. In connection with the 50th anniversary of the October Revolution, the Order of October Revolution was instituted in the post-war period in commemoration of the fellowship with nations of the multinational state in the USSR were instituted the Orders of October Revolutions and Friendship of and for rewarding the military men, the Order for serving the motherland to the military forces of the USSR, three degrees. In connection with the dissolution of the USSR, the creation of the new state in 1992, a new rewarding system was formed in Russia. In 1992, the highest rank in the rewarding system of Russian Federation was instituted, the Hero of Russian Federation, with the handing of the medal, the Golden Star. Of the earlier existing rewarding system the Soviet won, the orders for the individual courage and friendship of nations were preserved. One of the most honorable for the soldier rewards, the Medal for Bravery, was also preserved. In 1994, the President of Russian Federation had instituted five orders, the highest for the deserts before motherland, of courage for military deserts, and honor of friendship and 11 medals. It's necessary to note that in our country, warriors also accomplish feats at peacetime and the state distinguishes them according to the level of their magnitude. So, for example, in 1995-1996, the highest rank of the Hero of Russian Federation was awarded to 17 officers for personal courage and heroism shown in course of the accomplishment their professional duties. Among them are test pilots Alexander Artuhin, Yuri Abramovich, Oleg Antonovich and Anatoly Knishov, engineer Evgeny Gorunov, battle pilots Major General Timur Anikidze and Colonel Ivan Boganko, who had shown courage and heroism during the performing of the special test.